the form that my work usually takes is somehow in anticipation of another form. So like a plan or a study or a script or an announcement. And I often think of those forms as drawings because they come from, you know, usually the forms that I'm working with exist in another discipline, whether it's an architectural drawing or like a script for a play. These things then I often think of as drawings themselves, although they don't necessarily depict something in the traditional sense. So maybe that's how I think about it. I mean, of course, I often do preparatory drawings if I'm trying to understand something, but that, you know, that piece of paper with the image on it isn't, isn't usually the thing which gets shown. Yeah, I do think that the way in which I work with text and words and language, all those three things together, is a, is a process of experimentation. And then it's through that kind of experimentation that a form does get crafted or does get, does get generated. Um, so, in a way, that process of working with words is very much like a process of drawing. Yeah, I mean, I've did, the piece I just completed, um, Kill the Workers, which was at Chisholm Hill, which is just closed, that was a really, um, for me, that was a really uh, surprising um, piece to make because in, I, had to, I had to almost invent a language to write it in because the, that piece is a play for lights where I used the language of theatrical lighting to write this play. Where, but I wanted to write it for the lights themselves. I didn't want to just write a play, take away the actors, and then have the lights do their thing. So. I needed to find a language in which to script this. And at the same time, there was no way of testing it out in the studio. Like, I couldn't get the installer rig in here or in the other studio at all. These are working um, drawings for Kill the Workers. Um, and these are annotated drawings that I was making in order to try and execute the piece. Um, I drew them all on the computer, and I tried to... These were... I mean, the... These got kind of, at the side here are the, the notations for the lanterns, in which I use a standard, um, you know, that's a Fresnel, that's a Parkin, that's a floodlight, these are the different kinds of lights. And these did, again, this was quite early on, so it changed quite a lot, where, because in total we used 36 lamps. But just to go through the process of drawing, I used really simple shapes and forms, where here I began by, you know, this was dark and this was the only illuminated spot. Um, and it built up because, of course, in this area here, I needed to imagine which lamps would come on at which times to brighten the space. And this was the domestic interior where that lamp stayed on to the third state where the window came up and built over a certain period of time. I suppose what's important, though, is that alongside this would have been the script, which, again, in the script, it would always say what's actually happening. Like, Fade to black from preset, spot remains on source one, open white, single source, low intensity, pool of light to be circular as possible. And I'd go through these notations, draw it, because this is the, more or less what I was trying to achieve, um, and then work with that, then a door opens. The space would brighten. This area here got further illuminated. It would turn kind of hot, but in, by doing that, we kind of added this blush color. The door slams. Spot brightens. This whole space darkens. And this was a really interesting moment in making the drawings because I, as I was doing it, in order to darken it, you would think, oh, okay, I would just increase the if I increase the intensity of this orange, of course it gets oranger, but what I wanted to do for it to get blacker, if I decrease the in intensity of the color, as I would be doing in the space, of course it would get brighter on the page. So it was that difference that I was, I was really trying, I couldn't quite figure it out in drawing because I wanted to almost like be obedient to this idea of intensity in the color but then, of course, it was the antithesis of what would happen in the real. So this is something I'd like to revisit in the drawings themselves as, like, mm, 
seeing what would happen, because it would almost be the opposite then. I make a very conscious decision in the work not to show, never to show any supplementary information. It's really important to me that the forms that generated can be independent of the process. And that's been, you know, that's always been the case. I'm not really interested in this as kind of like backing it up.